component represents a modular part of a system whose externally visible behavior can be described much more concisely than its implementation. It hides its implementation behind a set of external interfaces. There are interfaces that a component support, they are called provided interfaces. They allow a component to provide services to other components in the system. There are interfaces that a component require, they are called required interfaces. They allow a component to demand services from another component. You can use three ways to create a component. The first is using palette. Go to components tray, select component, then draw it in canvas. The second is using tree view. Navigate to package, right click, select new, components, component. Or just right click anywhere in Canvas and select New Components Component. Components can be in a form of library. Library is where a set of available components with their dependencies live. This is the material out of which the system can be assembled. Components can be connected to form the system directly, but the best practice is to use component references. This shows how it's done using GPS model. First, open system package. Then draw component references in Canvas. Then assign each of these component references to one of the components. Then connect them together. Only ports with compatible interfaces will get connected. And this is how the system gets configured using component references. By using component references, we can create one or more system configuration or system deployment packages for testing or using components in different applications. This can be done either within a single XTML project or more likely reusing components across projects via inter-project references, which are discussed in more detail in another tutorial.